another episode at Ambokili Farm in Oloi Tok Tok, sub county in Kimana Town. One of the things that I am passionate about is Mukuna. This is a bean, it is in the same family like the common beans that we are used to eating at home. And I love talking about it because it is so significant when it comes to soil and water conservation in agricultural landscapes. I am standing in a ditch and this is a soil band. This here is um, Fanyaju Terrace. In Kenya, we call it Fanyaju because when we are digging this ditch, we throw the soil upwards, like upslope. So that is why it is called a Fanyaju Terrace. So what has been done here at Ambokili is to reinforce this Fanyaju Terrace right at the soil band with Mukuna bean. You can see the way it has it has really grown. It is so massive. The leaves and stems are actually so, so dense. And so it is such an effective soil cover for you. This bean um, is used for soil and water conservation or for the rehabilitation of soils that are degraded. When Ambokili came here about a year ago, this place was quite bare. This place had been destroyed by a lot of erosion. There was actually gully erosion. There were some reels. There was sheet erosion. But right now, um, because of Mukuna and other conservation measures, the soil is intact. There are no gullies currently as you're speaking. There are no reels. The soil is well covered. Mukuna is used as a live mulch and a green manure. Talking about live mulch, it just means that instead of cutting it or cutting its leaves and exporting it to another spot to cover the soil, we are using it as it grows. This way, you can integrate it into cropping systems like intercropping, for instance, in maize, so that it covers the soil to ensure that um, we are not losing water because of evaporation. Now, you see the way this place is a dry land. Imagine if the ground was just bare. It would mean that we are losing soil because of erosion, but we are losing moisture because of evaporation. And at the same time, losing nutrients like nitrogen, which are volatile. And so they can evaporate and be lost into the air. So now growing this will ensure that it is, it is covering the soil. And at the same time, as a green manure, it means that it is introducing or adding nutrients into the soil. It is a leguminous crop. This means that it is introducing nitrogen into your soil which is a benefit for any other crops that will be grown together with the mukuna bean. But when you're growing with other crops, for instance, maize, you have to keep it in check. You have to keep on trimming it so that it does, it does not get to this level. This here has specifically been used for conservation of soil and water. And so that is why it has been allowed to get to these levels. But can you imagine the amount of soil that it is conserving? Because in cases where there is rainfall, remember it's a dry land, uh, there's not much rain, but in cases where there is rainfall and soil is coming from upslope, this will actually hold the soil, preventing the soil from being lost like it was previously uh, through the gullies, through the real erosion, through the sheet erosion. This is holding it, preventing it from being lost. At the same time, if any amount of soil will be able to pass through, it will settle in this ditch. And in this ditch, they have recently just introduced the vetiver grass that we shall be talking about later on. Otherwise, just look at that tree behind me. The mukuna bean has climbed all the way and covered it. And the interesting thing is that it is not killing it. It is not suffocating it like um, maybe other, uh, some other uh, climbing crops can do. They will actually suffocate the host tree from nutrients, from oxygen, and the host plant will die. But, I mean, that is just beautiful, right? Please stay around for more content in agriculture, soil, and water conservation. Until next time, ciao!